So you live in New York as a model? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very exciting. I never, ever thought that would happen. I left, you know, five years ago to backpack through Europe and haven't come back. So it's been just one kind of really exciting thing after another. And yeah, now I'm there, which is just so crazy, but awesome. I think my Vogue, I did Vogue Italia and that shoot for me was just so crazy. I was backpacking, I was living above a pub in central London, making like four pounds an hour, pulling pints. And I'd just been signed and I got a call from Anna saying that in, you know, two days time I had, I was, you know, on hold and get myself ready to fly to Milan to shoot Vogue. And I just remember thinking, oh my God, this is like, that's just never, that never happens. You're not going to ever get that call. And so it happened and I, you know, flew over. I got landed like the morning of the shoot, the night before, ages out of Milan. Had to like somehow find my way into the city. There was no cabs, there was no nothing. Some American dude like was helping me. We got, finally got there. I didn't get to the hotel till like three. Had to be on set at like seven. And then spent the whole day running around Milan, shooting. And then I had a flight that night. So driving through the streets of Milan with the makeup artist in a smart car, like after just shooting this huge thing um, to get back to the airport. And by that night, I was like back in my room above the pub, just thinking, what the hell? Like, oh my God, how did that happen? That can't, you know, like, I wonder if they're going to run it. Like you just, I had no idea. And then, yeah, it came out like two months later and it was so awesome and so crazy. Like, honestly, I still can't believe, like that's probably one of the most amazing things I've done this whole time. <laughs> the most positive thing about this whole experience is I think that anything's possible because growing up in Perth, you know, the furthest place from any of that kind of stuff. I was the only plus girl to be signed randomly at 16. Like I just never thought anything like this would happen or anything would ever come of it. And I sort of grew up not know, like I come from a very, very sporty background. My family are all really, you know, famous and that's their, their career sports people. And I never really fit into that kind of you know, I never did that. And so I always sort of was the black sheep, I guess. And then, so I think just taking every experience as it comes, the fact that things like this do happen and, you know, anything is possible. Like who would have ever thought? I think that's just what everything has made me realise. I don't think when I was 16, I ever, ever real. I don't know, I wasn't really thinking about my body. I was never, I never hated it, and, but I was never ever, you know, the stereotypical size six girl, like so many girls at school. I went to an all girls school, you know. I Last time I was probably a size six, I would have been six years old, you know. It's just like, I've always kind of been curvy. And I think, yeah, I, I've never had a problem. I guess definitely self-conscious at times. I mean, I think every woman's the same. Everyone gets that, especially through those years, but you know, I never, never hated myself, which is a good thing. And I know people have so many different experiences, but I definitely was aware that I wasn't a size six. You know, I definitely knew that sometimes I couldn't wear the crop top and, it, you know, like it was just, but I was fine with that, you know, like I never, never didn't like the fact that I couldn't. I just was like, okay, cool. Well, I'll just, you know, do this. and. That's still how I am. It's just, you know, it's never really bothered me. I just know, you know, how to dress for me and how what suits me and it doesn't matter what people think or what I think, like I just gotta do what I'm doing and it'll all all work out in the end. I still definitely have the days where I don't like certain parts of myself and I wish that I had this and wish that I had that and you know, I think that's just a part of being a girl. Everyone has that. It's either, if it's not about, you know, your weight or how this or your arm, um, you know, it's about something else. So, I mean, I have definitely come full circle and especially being in this industry it is kind of it, hard at times to sort of, you know, 
accept everything, to, but then it's also awesome because there's so many different ranges of girls and, but there is still, you know, those pressures with plus size as well. And yeah, like I've definitely, I think, grown to love things about myself so much more that maybe when I was 16, I was a bit, they were the things I hated where now I'm just like, whatever, like it is what it is. I'm doing all this crazy, amazing stuff because of the way I am. So just get over it, you know, just deal with it. Like everyone has things that they don't like or love about them and you can't let it like rule your life. It's just, it is what it is. Mm, I don't know, I, don't, I feel like I haven't had someone be super negative to my face and say anything like super mean or critical. But I've definitely, you know, had times when I've been on a set and, you know, a pair of pants haven't fit and it's been like all my fault and it's because of this or it's because, you know, your waist isn't this or you don't have, you know, and I've just never been like that. And so it sometimes is a little, I mean, I used to get really upset about it and, you know, I guess still do if that sort of thing is going to happen. It's not a nice feeling. Um, but. I think when I was younger, that, like when I first started out, I was so much more self-conscious about everything, like on jobs, on everything, and just, I think just being in this kind of industry, working, shooting, um, you know, being on set, being with people who are so like body positive, and who cares, and whatever, and looks amazing, and you know, you're beautiful, and this isn't, you know, your face, and the, you know, that's sort of what I've grown to like think of more is like, it doesn't matter if I have a muffin top in this, you know, everything else is working and it'll all work out and they're not, they're not trying to make me look bad, you know? So I think, yeah, hearing that kind of stuff sometimes is awful, is awful. Hearing that you can be, you know, too big for a client or not the right shape or whatever is sometimes really hard to hear. But on the other hand, I just think I've learned that I will be the perfect person a perfect girl for some clients and completely like the wrong the wrong for others and that's that's okay because that's ev that's everyone and that's everyone's in the same boat you know do you think you're sexy yeah <laughs> i don't know i guess at times sometimes i'm like yeah you know but i mean definitely i have the days where i don't you know I'm just like, oh my God. But you know, when you're all kind of done or can't just comfortable, then yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> so weird, but you know. Um, yeah, there's definitely times where I'm like, hell yeah, you know. So that's fun. <laughs> I would say my lips because so many people think they're fake, I guess, or so many people want the sort of big lips and I always, I've had them for so, like forever. I've had them since I was a baby. That's my baby photos of like fish lips. But um, yeah, I think, you know, cause I love experimenting with makeup. I love trying bright colors. And I think it's such like an accent on the face when you've got, you know, your lips, <laughs> if that makes sense. I've never had an hourglass shape. So that's always been a kind of, not a struggle, but you know, something that I'm not, you know, that really curt, curved girl I'm quite straight in the middle so I've sometimes struggled with that just you know having that sort of body type um, but you know you just have to learn to <laughs> learn to live with it you know there's other parts that compensate and I don't know I just yeah that probably yeah the fact that I'm not super you know super curvy in that sense but whatever <laughs> Yes. And kinder to their bodies? Yes, women can be so mean to each other and it's horrible and it's something that I think has such major impacts on young girls, but even older. Like I know if someone's slamming me on something, that's all, you know, you feel really bad about yourself and there's just no need for that to ever happen. And I think, you know, within our community even, it's so hard to find that balance because you know, there's size 12 girls who are so beautiful and have struggled with body image and, you know, being told they're too big for this and being told, but to that, to a size 20, they look tiny, you know, but then to a size, 
you know, 24, the size 12, you know, that seems big. So it's just, I think it's really, um, like, the meanness, <laughs> yeah, it's just catty. People can be horrible. And I think it just needs to, there's no need. I mean, if we all tell each other constantly, and our whole motto, girls, women, just women in general, not even plus, not even about size, it's just, people can be really brutal, really brutal to each other. And I think it's just, there's just no need for that to ever, ever happen. Like, just be nice. If you don't have something nice to say, don't say it. That's how I have always been. It's like, you may not like her shoes, or you may not, that might not be your style, but they're wearing that, or they're doing that, or they're like that for a reason, and they're happy, or they're unhappy. You know, that's not for you to jump in and criticise, or, you know, anything. It's just sort of a policy. Don't, don't say it if, you don't, if it's not necessary to say it, you know. Loud. <laughs> I think I have such a loud personality. I always get told that I'm super chatty and very out there. Um, but yeah, I think that sort of sums me up. I'm, yeah, loud in things I do. I'm like confident in, you know, I can sort of chat to anyone, do whatever. And I think that's just come more and more. I think I've gotten more and more like that as I've gotten older. Um, not like in your face, but you know, <laughs> just sort of, yeah, confident and loud, I guess. <laughs> Tell me one word you would hope your close, people close to you would describe you as. Um, just nice, you know, just, I never want, I would never want anyone to think of me as being like a mean person or a horrible person or uh, like, you know, oh, Sophie Shepard, oh, no, she's, she's a bitch, or, you know, I just, nice, I think that just gets you so far in life, is just being nice to people, you know, and it doesn't, you don't know what they're going through, you don't know what happened this morning at their house, you don't know if they're having a crap day or a crap month or a crap year, or if they're having the best day of their lives, if you just have to be nice, I think that always gets you so much further than anything else is just if you're friendly and nice to everyone because you just never know who they are, what they do, what could happen. So that's how I would hope people would describe me as just a nice person. <laughs> I think I've never really hated my body just because I've just learnt to live with my flaws. You know, there are definitely things that I wish I could change. There are definitely things I think girls everywhere and men everywhere wish that they could change about themselves. No one walks around thinking, I'm God's gift, everything on me is 100%, you know, I love every single, every part of myself, you know. But I think you just learn to, you gotta learn just to accept it. You are who you are. There's nothing wrong with being you know, being bigger or being curvy or being slim and being, there's nothing wrong with you just being who you are and who you're supposed to be. And I think as soon as you kind of realise that and think like there's more to life than the bloody tag on my dress, like really, you kind of, it just leaves. Like I've always been a size like 14, 16, like pretty much the whole way through, like year eight, year nine, I was like, 13 and stuff, you know, I've always sort of maintained the same kind of body shape, the same kind of sizing. And I think, yeah, like it's definitely hard when you're young because everyone, there is such that pressure for all the girls to be super skinny and all the boys and la la la. But I think you just have to know within yourself that it gets, it gets better. It's not the be all and end all. It's not the end of the world you know, if you've got this or if you've got that or if you're not completely toned or you've got, you know, a fat roll when you bend over, you know, it's like, who cares? Like, seriously, who cares? Just, and that's, I think, just, you know, it's hard when you're younger, but you, you just grow to, like, totally accept yourself, I guess. <laughs>